this work from home thing has really uh, brought on its own challenges, right? Um, but I'm very happy that somehow we have managed to take care of our business and do the things we need to get done and maybe and maybe even more. Um, so let's say the introverts. The introverts are so happy. They, all, they can say, they like to say that I can do this forever. <laughs> um, but let's say um, for people like me, nga, who's more extroverted, it was, it, it was challenging because I am energized by by brainstorms, by coming together with different people and just and just talking about ideas and and you know when you you don't even remember who thought of what idea and how it became the thing it is and I I, I live for moments like that at work, um, and and that's not as easy to do um, when we are apart, but we try. We try to still keep our brainstormings fun. Um, I always tell my team, you know, how we are not saving lives. <laughs> so everybody just relax. Let's just have fun. And and we should keep things fun, right? Um, because that's where the ideas flow. Um, so that... So, so so we so we try that that's one very important thing. We we still try to to keep things fun. We still try to like um connect with each other as much as we can. Um what else? The very practical things is we have very clear structures to help everybody just organize their day and their energy. Um so that has really helped us also. Um, there was a time in the beginning when everybody was adjusting, everybody was scared for our jobs and all of that. So we were just work, 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 we gotta get this done. But then after a while, people started getting very drained. So we said, okay, enough. Let's already have structures of we start at 9, no more answering each other past 8 p.m. as much as we can. Uh, give 15 minute breaks in between meetings you know for there was a time when it was like 9 to 10 10 to 11 11 to 12 it was so crazy so so we have since put structures in place that have made everybody uh just just manage better uh so i was talking to a teammate about um how she needed to find in herself again, you know, the energy, the fire, the the libog, you know, to bring back what we knew she could, she was capable of, you know, what she was before, you know, um, and 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 I just told her what worked for me. It would not necessarily work for her, but that same thinking could lead her um, to that re-energizing. So what I told her was, around six months into the pandemic, I really had a major dip. Um, just the, the, the energy was so depleted. Um, again, maybe it's because I wasn't with, with people. I wasn't having the the conversations and brainstorms that would energy uh, energize me. So it was really like, um, okay, how am I going to do this? Because I also had the burden of responsibility of, of having to lead a team, right? I, I was so, I was so pressured to make sure that we did well so that our business would do well and, 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 and everybody would still have their job. So I knew, I knew I needed to energize. So, so my super basic things that I had told my teammate was one, I created structures for myself that put me in a super work mode. Okay, before before the sick that before that dip, I was basically going to work like everybody was going to work, which was in our pambahay. 
I mean, medyo decent pambahay, but pambahay still. But after that, I decided, you know, one of the things I enjoyed about going to work was dressing up, you know, um, putting together an outfit, putting together whatever jewelry, uh, or not jewelry, but accessories. So, so I did that. Didn't matter that I had a meeting or no meeting. I dressed up like I was going to the office every day. And for me, that really helped me. First, it made me happy because fashion makes me happy. But it also put me in the right zone that I'm going to work. I'm going to be um, the ECD, right? So this is my ECD outfit. So that that's one. Um, so... So like I was telling my friend, who's also super fashion, you know, I said, look into that. Maybe you can dress up again. You so love dressing up, right? <laughs> so look into that. So that's one. I mean, it's super, you know what? It's super basic. But to me, uh, is it because I'm a girl or a fashionista? I don't know. But it gives me a sense of energy and power. And the lipstick also. Anyway, so <laughs> that's one. Um, the other one is um and and and, and I and um and I'm about to mount something for the, the the company that really advocates this is I am a super big believer in exercise, in movement, in sweating, you know, of being in touch with your body somehow. You know, and that for me is also one of the things that has saved me in this time. You know, I, I I started, I used to be a dancer and, and, an, and an athlete. So I have reconnected to that part of me. And it just gives me so much energy. And and, and also just, just joy and, and sarap feelings, endorphins, everything. And so I was just... Um, uh, I found this guy who I want to give a talk to nga, to my team and he basically just says everybody has to find whatever their movement is the movement that brings you joy and if you do that as much as you can you will see how much it helps your well-being and and so that's one of the things I did that's one of the things I told my friend she also used to be a dancer and so I also said look into that um She was telling me about how she had stopped watching her K dramas and 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 listening to her K pop music because she felt like it distracted her. So I was like, but why? It gave you so much joy. You know, it made you so crazy. I mean, she was really crazy about it, but she just totally cut herself off from it. Right? So so it's like whatever pleasure you can give yourself, you know, that you will not abuse, of course. Why not do it, right? So, so that was really more my advice to her coming from my own experience of, of finding the things that energize you, that, that give you these moments of, of delight and happiness. Um, then of course the structuring of yourself um it worked for me so 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 my hope is that that she will find what the right mix for her will be what what i would wish uh for everyone is for them to learn what are the specific things activities small joys uh, that fill their soul meter, their love meter, right? It doesn't have to be big things. But you have to know it mindfully. And you have to spend time mindfully crafting time in your day to enjoy this. Um... For my husband, he's a simple guy, but I like how he's so in touch with what makes him happy. He's perfectly happy listening to his favorite rock music on good speakers, 
in a room filled with art. And he can just do that for hours um, at, the, at the end of a long work day. And, and he is revived by that. Um, so, so whatever it is for, for people, I hope there is ngayon nga. It, it, it's really, it's really like consciousness of being conscious of, of, of what really does that for you. And then being conscious to, to make it part of your day. Because I am, I try to really fully be myself. Um, so somebody, I, I talked with a friend yesterday and she was asking me about what, what kind of leader I am. And part of that was, do I make friends with my team? And I really said that, I don't know if it's true for everybody, but for me, um, I really bring my full self to work. And if that full self wants to connect with somebody across the table who I like as a human being, then I will. doesn't matter if he's my boss or, or you know, he's, he's, he's under me. But I like you as a human, so I'm going to friend you. <laughs> you know? Um, and, and, and one, but one of the things I think that I have managed to um, create in myself as a leader is while I will connect with you fully as a human, I have also made it very clear to my team what my standards in terms of work are. Um, that, that these are really like what I expect of you, of myself, and this is really what we're going to set out to deliver. Um, so, to go back to like my, my, my teammate who I had spoke to last week, part of my evaluation of her were, were really the words of, I love you as a friend, but I need to tell this to you as a teammate. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's how I do things. I don't know if, if that is necessarily the most sound business practice, but it's worked for me. <laughs> Um, what would I do differently? I mean, lately, I actually had this conversation with my mom and my husband. Um, while I love being creative and it has given me a good life, it was only later on in my life that I realized how I had such a, a gift for connecting with people and helping with people. Um, and also how brave pala I was, um, uh, so, so, so with those two realizations, I wish I took up medicine. Yeah. Uh, and, and I just really feel like, like, like when I think of me now, I really think, I would have been a good doctor um, and a doctor who would, was willing to do the hard things. But it's okay. I mean, that, that, that's for another life. But I just, I, I just wish that it, it crossed my mind earlier. Um, so it's all right. I mean, it, maybe, maybe the gifts will... will Will no. will manifest in other ways in my life, right? You know, you, we could have brought such a holistic approach to health and happiness and wellness, and you know, I would have wanted to go to the places that nobody wanted to go to. Um, yeah. but let's see. I mean, like this energy is out there. We can still use it for something else, or the. Yeah, the desire to to use this energy for something, I just have to be led to it. Mm -hmm.